God's sake, Rob, let me in. It's freezing out here. Pull up a chair. I like what you've done with the place. Very minimalist. Well, it was all Alice and stuff. She came around with the boss yesterday to pick it all up. So, we look on the right side. At least I get to keep up with the payments on this place. Come on, we can't have anything like this. Let's go and get you a proper bed and something to sit on. I'm back and broke. I haven't sold anything for months. Well, I can help you out with a few things from the charity shop. Just to tide you over. And it'll do good for you to get out the house. What do you think? What's this then? Oh, that. He just came in from the house clearance at Mrs Nightingale's place. The old lady who disappeared? Yeah. After her husband died, she went a bit doolally. She died of a broken heart. She wandered out one night in her dressing gown. Got lost. Fell into the canal or something. That poor woman. How much? Uh, tenner. We'll take it. Don't you think we should focus on getting you something a bit more practical? Come on. Don't you like it? It's got an interesting energy about it. It speaks to me. Ah, the artist doth declare. It speaks to me. I doff my hat to you. Besides, I might be able to vlog a couple of prints of it and make some money for some proper furniture. I've been looking into the Mrs Nightingale case a bit more. Do you know she used to be a singer back in the day? They called her the Sparkbrook Songbird. There's actually no record of her having dementia or anything like that. And get this. Her husband didn't die. He left her for another woman. Bastard. Ah, so the artist becomes the detective. Well, if you're looking for a new girlfriend, could I suggest focusing your efforts on someone who's actually alive? Better yet, track down that bloody sketch pad and get to work on drawing that cage.
Look, I'm really worried about you. Living in that empty flat all on your own. You're hearing things, you're seeing things. You're not getting enough sleep. I, I swear, I'm not making it up. What about the bird seed? Maybe you've got mice. Mice don't sing, do they? All I'm saying is, you've had a traumatic time of it lately. People see and hear all kinds of things when they're going through a rough moment. I see it all the time at work. Do you want to stay with me for a few days while you sort yourself out? Look, Joe, I know you mean well, but a cup of tea and a cuddle ain't gonna solve anything. Maybe I am hearing things, I don't know. Maybe... Maybe there's a reason I'm hearing things. Maybe it's my imagination telling me something that I need to hear. <laughs>